We live in a time of unparalleled stress and anxiety. Our world has become ever faster, more interconnected, with choices and expectations like never before. We face an overburdened, crowded world with scary climate predictions, ever larger natural disasters, a global pandemic, and the uncertainty of what the future will bring, like few times the planet has ever seen. And on the personal level, most people just struggle to make ends meet with family and relationship difficulties, fears for our personal health, racial inequality, and even the threat of violence on our streets or in our homes. Add to this the daily worries for our little ones coming into an uncertain world. For some, just saying the words stress and anxiety starts to stir that feeling of unease in the pit of your stomach. But my friends, there really is good news in the Bible about how walking with Jesus can help us to overcome the great challenges that affect us in this life. My name is Eric Sternad. I'm a marriage family therapist and a Bible student. Welcome to a three-part series on walking with Jesus Christ, overcoming stress and anxiety. First, though, let's start with the big picture. What's the purpose of our existence on the planet? It's a big question, one that has occupied the minds of philosophers, poets, and pundits for millennia. But the Bible gives us a very clear and straightforward concept of what the Creator desires for His creation. It's to become reflections of God Himself, to learn to show His character in ourselves, in our lives, and with each other. God says of Himself that He is love. And he wants us to become the embodiment of his love in the world. It's a beautiful vision for our purpose on the earth. He's given us an example in his son to follow, to learn from. And if that wasn't enough, Jesus Christ is beckoning us to walk with him. And he will carry the load for us. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said this to his disciples 2,000 years ago, and he says it to you and me today. Come to me and all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What an incredible invitation and a comfort at a time when the burdens of life seem so hard and so overwhelming. The Son of God is inviting you to walk with Him. And yet, it's easier said than done, isn't it? Why is it so hard to accept and remember, to do something so simple on the surface, just walk with Jesus Christ? Well, I don't want to be disrespectful, but God certainly could have designed this life to be so much easier. God invented and created our minds and our bodies Surely, he could have avoided all this pain, the uncertainty, the stress and dysfunction. He could have designed us to be foolproof from the beginning. He gave mankind an incredible start, though, in the creation. Safety, health, companionship, and love, and walking in a garden with him. But there was something that we as humans needed to experience with our own free will, it just seems like we had to experience our own way, our own path. And just like Adam and Eve, we fail and make mistakes, but God has made a way for us to be redeemed and to be brought back into harmony with him. For some reason, we as humans need to struggle and fail and then be restored in order for us to truly come to a knowledge of who God is and who we are. Facing struggles, our human nature, failing at it, and then in the end being lifted up by God and the work of the Lord Jesus is essential to us growing and developing into that new creation that God wants us to become. That's why God didn't make this life easier. He didn't make a cheat code or a shortcut. There is no shortcut when it comes to developing the character of God in us. But walking with Jesus is a really good start. James says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet ver trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. God made our minds and bodies. He made us susceptible to physical and emotional challenges. 
He made us to be imperfect beings that develop, learn by mistakes, grow, fail, struggle, and then finally we mature in spirit, but only through steadfastly enduring through trials. Let's take a lesson from God's creation for clues as to how God wants to develop our characters. Flowers bloom on the hillsides after a destructive wildfire has swept through. Our muscles grow stronger when we work out. We're actually tearing muscle fibers and then they heal even stronger. So we can see evidence in the creation of God's chosen growth process, challenges to then temporary setbacks to finally growth and maturity. Romans chapter one says, for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. God made this law for the universe and he made it for us too. Now, no fair blaming uh, all of our problems on God, however. Humans made stuff like relationship challenges, false expectations, war trauma, sexual assault and abuse, and pretend social media posts that make it seem like everybody's life is going great. You see, sometimes our problems arise from our own mistakes, our own natural sin, our own natural consequences from those sins. So I'm not trying to depress you, really. I'm trying to relieve you of the false expectations that life is supposed to be rosy or else we aren't doing it right because our own expectations are huge when it comes to finding and maintaining wellness and contentment. I am the Lord and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. So some of what we struggle with is created by God for our good. And some of it is simply our own fault as humans. Some we can change, some we can't. Some we can improve with effort and help, and some just reminds us of our need for Jesus' guiding hand, his sharing of that heavy yoke as we plow the field of life together, walking side by side with him. If you ever feel all alone in your struggles with stress and anxiety, remember that we have a companion to walk with in Jesus. Of all people on the earth, he knew what it was like to feel stress and anxiety. Think about it. He carried the burden of remaining sinless every day, every hour, so that we could have him as our perfect sacrifice for sin. He was faced with all the weaknesses of the flesh that we have. And once people found out that he could actually physically heal them, Imagine the patience, the love, the endurance he displayed day after day as the throngs of sick and maimed uh, crowded around him, pulled at his clothes for, for him to heal them for hours on end, so much so that he couldn't even stop and eat. And he faced his greatest trial, being flogged and crucified. He faced that incredible burden after all his disciples had left him alone. So remember that when you are worried, stressed, Uncertain and feeling alone, Jesus knows exactly what that's like, and he is eager to walk you through those hard and lonely hours. Jesus said to his disciples before his crucifixion, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. In our next section, we'll consider the life of Paul, that great disciple, and how he learned the hard way to walk with Jesus too. 